Cinderella, you can't be serious. I mean it. They didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. He just stood there playing a sad song while Laura's carriage pulled away. It was very romantic. But you shouldn't have disappeared like that. Oh? Why? Did you miss me? Uh, no, not at all. You know, Laura is the daughter of Lord Pennington, and she loves Nicholas. But because he's not of the nobility, her father won't allow her to see him. Uh... But what? Come on, tell me. Huh? How are you? Ah. Uh, did you hear me play? I wasn't very good, was I? No, no, you were wonderful. I'm sure Laura was totally moved by the music you played. You're too kind. And what do Lord and Lady Pennington think about you two? Oh, they don't want to know anything about us. If you need any help, you can count on me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Patch. <laughs> Excuse him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I haven't eaten since the reception. If you'd like, I have something. Really? You do? Well, you shared a piece of cake with me last time. Thank you. Mm. Uh. Thanks. It's good. What is it? I've just spent the last of my money on some new strings for my violin, and now I have no money for food. Humans sure are complicated. Your philosophical outburst is so annoying. If those two are madly in love, why don't they meet secretly? Oh. Thanks, Cinderella. I have to go. Good luck, my friend. Goodbye, Nicholas. Come on, you guys. They finally finished. It's about time. It's unbelievable how much women can talk. Mm. Uh, nothing. You shouldn't bother Paulette. I'm sorry, I hope they didn't pester you too much. No, not at all. On the contrary, I used them as models. You did? Oh. Well, it seems the drawing is better than the model. Oh, you think so? Look at it again. Look at every detail. Sometimes you have to look at things differently. You have to change your point of view. Change my view? I see! Jan! Listen, Jan! Silence! Your problem seems to be sentimental. You're worried about two of your friends who are in love but can't get married. Is that right? Oh! How did you... Nicholas, my darling. Careful. <laughs> oh, Nicholas, what a wonderful evening. Look at how bright the stars are tonight. No diamond ever shone so brightly. Where are you going? What are you up to? I want to give you one. I want to give you the biggest star. I'm almost there. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Laura, would you please hand me my violin? Come out of there. You'll catch a cold.
possible that one day Laura, my daughter, may marry the prince, and no music, however sublime, could ever replace having bread on the table. How can bread be more important than music? It's absurd. Music is what feeds the spirit. Laura, wake up. It's time for you to leave. They mustn't find out you've been gone. Don't worry. My governess sleeps like a log. Nothing will wake her. Yes, but it's daylight. Your parents will wake up soon. Oh, Nicholas, what can I do to make sure I see you all the time? Every day I'll come to see you. Every day I'll play you a song on my violin to prove my love. Are you sure this is the best way for me to get permission to marry her? Jan is the best clairvoyant in the land, and if he says to Laura's parents that you two are destined to live together, I'm certain they'll change their opinion of you, and that's the moment when you have to intervene and tell them who you really are. Do you really believe it will be that simple? I have no doubts about it. Jan, don't forget to say that they were made for each other. Hmm. I'll only tell them what I see in my crystal ball. Jan, you're only here to help them get married. I know. Ah, move along. But, uh, I... No, wait. Let them come in. Father, this man is the best clairvoyant in the country. He's renowned for the accuracy of his predictions. I've asked him to come here so he can predict my future. But, Laura, we already know what your future will be. We know you're going to marry Prince Charles. Silence! I'm here to tell you what I see, and I only see what the spirit of the crystal ball chooses to reveal. The spirit is infinitely wise. The spirit sees all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see. I see. I see a man standing beside your daughter. But of course you see Prince Charles. No, he's holding something in his hands. A musical instrument. A violin? Yes, that's it. But the strings have snapped, which symbolizes great difficulties. Oh. Your daughter and this man are heading towards some enormous mountain. They are going through an abyss which seems to be swallowing them up. What is he babbling about? I see them fighting. However, after having overcome all these obstacles, they'll be enveloped by a golden light. If their love is sincere, they'll succeed in working through their problems and will live happily oh, ever after. Oh, come on! There. I've told you everything the spirit has shown me. Oh. oh! Henry, show them out, please. Gentlemen, I would like you to leave. Uh, no, Father, please wait! Follow me. One moment. What now? What do you want to say? I beg you, Lord Pennington, won't you grant me permission to marry your daughter? I love her. I cannot bear to go on living without her for much longer. I beg you, Father, we're in love. It's out of the question. My Laura will never marry a commoner. It would be a dishonor. But my Lord! No, Father, I beg you! Uh. Nicholas! Oh, no, please wait!
Yan, you must be very disappointed after the effort you put into that production. What do you mean by production? I really saw them. If they marry, they'll be happy. Hey, Cinderella, who is this guy? I don't think I like him. Oh, forget it. Nicholas, I'm really sorry. I never imagined that it was going to end like this. It's all my fault. No, Cinderella, it's my fault. I shouldn't have revealed my identity. And now I'm sure they won't let us go anywhere near the castle. So what are we going to do? And what if Lord Pennington is right after all and Laura does marry the prince? Huh? What is it, Charles? It doesn't concern you. No, you're right, of course. If that's the only way I can be sure Laura will be happy, it'll have to be. You're the one Laura loves. It's you she wants for a husband. Of course she's right. Besides, the crystal ball said you'd be happy. But I don't have a castle or horses or any money. I won't be able to give her diamonds. The only thing I own is this violin. You don't need diamonds to be happy. Huh? There's a fable you should know about the Emerald Goddess. Yes, of course. According to that story, the goddess makes you tell the truth about your feelings. Yes, and Nicholas just told us he loves Laura with all his heart. This time, I'm sure that true love will triumph. That love will, will triumph. Right. There are four statues placed strategically around the fountain of the Emerald Goddess. On the east, there's a statue of the God of Knowledge. To the north, towards the Emerald Castle, stands the God of Peace. The god of the passage of time has been placed to the west, where she springs eternal. And to protect our desires from those who wish to destroy them, the god of war has been placed to the south. Although these four gods are there to protect us, it's still up to us to act. Do you see the point, Nicholas? It's up to me. Yes, you and Laura love each other. You belong together. Yes, you're right. I must say, that was quite a story you told us. You must not let my daughter leave for any reason. Nicholas. intend to do? Father, I love him. My lord, we will be married. Never! Quickly, go saddle the horses. Good luck, Nicholas.
right? I'm fine, thank you. Nicholas? We're all right. Oh, hi, Paulette. Patch, we have to help them. Huh? Oh. What's happened to me? Children, over here! I found another horse! It's you! is dangerous. Laura, come back! You've got time to change your mind. Laura, are you certain you still want to come with me? Yes, I'm sure. No, Laura, come back! I hope you will forgive me, Father, but we love each other. <laughs> the bridge will never hold! I can only pray that they get to the other side without hurting themselves. Destiny awaits you. They made it. Jan's prediction did come true. Yes, there's a golden light guiding them toward happiness. They'll be very happy, I know it. I think you're right. Isn't love wonderful? <laughs> Mommy, did you hear about Lord Pennington's daughter? Yes, she ran away with a violinist. I wonder what she could possibly see in him. He's no one. He doesn't have a castle. No money to speak of. No jewels. He's not even of noble birth. It'll be difficult, but I hope that one day we'll have your parents' blessing. Our love will help us find the way, Nicholas. Don't forget about me. I don't want to be a horse forever. Woof! 